I was someone who grew up with real sensitive hearing. And still to this day, if an ambulance goes by, I'm the first one with my ears plugged. And so early on, I would go to shows and I would have to shove stuff in my ears. And people would always, all my friends made fun of me. And I just remember telling them, one day you won't be able to hear and you'll, you'll realize I wasn't dumb. And so I would get in someone's car <clears throat> or go to a party. And the first thing I'd do is get there and everything hurt my ears. And so I would go over and start turning the knobs. And then I'll, I would just turn them until they quit hurting my ears. And people would always be like, what'd you do? It sounds amazing. And I was like, I just stopped it from hurting. Like, I don't know what I did. And eventually one day I started going, well... Maybe I need to figure out what that is. I remember having a moment where I lived in Utah and there was a record store called Raunch Records. And I would go there and this guy, Brad Collins, owned it. And I would just listen to the records there and they always sounded so good. And I'd go home and they never sounded that good. And then I had this moment where I was in my friend's truck. It was this fr a friend of mine and he had this Toyota truck and I had a full Alpine system in it. And I remember he put on the song by U2, With or Without You. And I wasn't a U2 fan at all. And so I was a punk rock kid. And I remember hearing the bass come in and, and the high end and just the whole sound of it was so incredible. And that was the day I realized why Brad's stuff always sounded better than my stuff was Brad had bass in his speakers. And that's when I became obsessed with sound. And I had to figure out, you know, because I realized music was so much more amazing with great quality sound. And so I started in 88, I started doing sound for shows. And again, it was just one of those things where I turned knobs till it didn't hurt and people seemed to like it. So I kept getting jobs. And by the early nineties, I was touring with bands and that's what kind of got me started as audio and being obsessed with these type of moments. Mm -hmm.